Okay, so here we have another three by three, but rather than going through all the work of um, finding the inverse, I'm going to give you the inverse. Uh, in the book, they just do it all on a calculator. Okay, so first let's make the matrix equation. A x equals b. We're talking matrices here. So 2, 3, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 1, 1 times x, y, z equals 32, negative 27, and negative 2. Okay, and then I'm just going to tell you what A inverse is. A inverse is, um, where is it? Okay, negative 1, 1, 0, uh, negative 1, 0, 1, and 6, negative 2, negative 3. That's the inverse. Okay, and you can find it. It just would take some time. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take the inverse times a times x equals the inverse of a times b. Okay, this gives us just x because the inverse times a is just going to be... Um, the identity, uh, which we could go through that process, but uh, I'm not going to. So the last video was super long. Okay, so here's the inverse. It's coming in negative 1, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 6, negative 2, negative 3. And we're going to be multiplying that times 32 minus 27 minus 2. So we're using matrix multiplication here to solve this. So we're going to get the x matrix, the variable matrix, equals negative 32 minus 27 plus 0. So I'm multiplying this row times this column. Okay, now I'm going to multiply this row times this column. And I'm going to get negative 32 plus 0 minus 2. And then finally I'm going to multiply this row by the column. So it's going to be 6 times 32 minus 2 times negative 27 minus 3 times negative 2. Okay, so a little bit of work on that last one. All right, negative 32 and negative 27, that's negative 59. And then <laughs> negative 32 and negative 2 is going to be negative 34. And then the last one, the one in green, I'm going to put it in my calculator. So I'm just going to go 6 times 32, well, uh, first I'm going to turn my calculator on, 6 times 32 minus 2 times negative 27 minus 3 times negative 2. And I get 252. And so your ordered triple then is going to be negative 59 comma negative 34 comma 252. And what will be fun is when you get that problem right, you'll just be really happy. Okay, <laughs> so have fun with matrices. We don't do matrices in chapter 8 or 9. This is just an introduction to matrices. Um, and uh, if you wanted to do more work with matrices, I love um, linear algebra and working with the matrices. But uh, you take calculus and then you take linear algebra. Okay, so have, have a fun time with them.